All right, hello guys. Um, I got to the area I wanted to be, but uh, unexpectedly, every time I'm about to start recording, I always uh, meet a dragon. And I am not happy about it. Uh, where's the dragon? He is burning the hillside with the Imperial camp. Oh, Imperial camp, don't use chain lightning. Okay. Ooh, him. Okay, at least it's a regular dragon time. Uh, should be a bit easier. Just make sure I don't shoot any of the Imperial. I mean, they are uh, L sympathizers, but I'll let them off this time. Mostly because I am an L, so that's perfectly fine. Oh, thank you. Alright, guys. So, uh, the reason. Let me just grab all the dragon loot and uh, make sure I'm not overweight. Is I was going to do this area here. Uh, so where we're going is up here. And I just wanted to break up the monotony of doing the Thieves Guild a little bit here by switching it up. So we're going to be coming back to this place, don't you worry. So we got to go up, up, up. Uh, but first we got to find a walkway up the mountain. Uh, so I'm going to want to go around this, go on the other side of this, there should be a pathway leading up. And um, this is actually uh, one of one of my favorite uh, Dwarven dungeons, just because of how unique it is. It is completely out there. Oh, and uh, by the way, I believe this is a Dawnguard uh, dungeon added to the map. If you're wondering what this is here. I think the tower was here before, but they added the cave. Uh, oh, I keep forgetting I don't have the steam lightning. And missing. So we are going to want to walk up this way here. There's going to be some friends. Maybe outside. There, I think they're supposed to be. Yep, there you are. Come here. Oh, Master Conjurer. That's, that's not okay, because you're going to summon up an electrical uh, conduit, ooh, which kills me. Uh, I'll be right back. Alright, now that we got that out of there, uh, let's just say he did not survive the paralysis dagger. Now we get to go on up here. Oh, and the ground is but a microcosm in the feel of all things. Uh, so that's where we want to go. Uh, you can see this area of the game is protected by trolls, so try not to come here too early, or you may or may not pay the price. Alright, here we got our back on. I really shouldn't be doing this daytime, but what's the fun of waiting around? They're going to go back there. So slow time is for your all-out attack, where it's become ethereal's I need men to repent. Oh my goodness. It's a flock of them. Oh my goodness. You can say they call this a reddit. Goddamn reddit thread right here. Okay. We're just going to activate that. And they're not going to be able to touch us. And now that we're out, we're just going to occasionally, uh, you know, just going that way, he's fine. Uh, we're just gonna... Oh, you didn't get stuttered there. No uh, impact. Uh, you are very mad. Thank you for your consideration, though. Oh, you're... You're almost full health. Uh, always remember, trolls are weak fire, so if you have a fire shout, or if you are actually a fire mage, uh, I, I would recommend it. Uh, Fire Mage and Frost Mage in this game are sort of silly though, as you can see, uh, being Skyrim, uh, sadly fighting, uh, creatures who are resistant to Frost is all over the place, especially Nords, for instance. Oh, finally, we're at the first part of the former structure here. Uh, and fire also has a lot of natural enemies that resist it, whereas lightning doesn't have many resistors to it, uh, but it affects only mages, uh, compared to where fire does extra damage to the health over time, and ice does stamina. How many 
of you fuckers are gonna keep. Oh, come on. Where'd you go? You know, running away. Trolls always like to hide when they're faced with the consequences of their actions. So here we are uh, at the Dwemer ruin here. You can see it's up, way up here in the mountain, and it's no as Kagrenzel, which is interesting, I believe I've said before in a previous video, uh, the tonal priest that you hear about in Morrowind, who is involved with the tools in the main quest, is known as Kagarnak. Uh, and basically his name means uh, music or musician in Dwemer. Uh, and this city uh, is named City of Music, which is interesting uh, because uh, it's basically almost like a direct uh, link, in my opinion. The devs named this place Music on Purpose. You can see here, we are going to find out why. Uh, so, before you actually approach the Dwemer Ruin, make sure to put down a quick save for reasons. You can see here, um, this thing right here, very strange. You can see it doesn't really match... Uh, any spells uh, let's say we look at the restoration tree the restoration more fast paced and very quick movements on the spell so I'll pull out like a spell just to show you they're similar but you can see they're different this thing also gives off a strange humming sound uh, like I said before with the Dwemer sound is a very important uh, part of their culture and them as people. So we're gonna touch this guy. Uh, we have activated the alarm. Uh, so now uh, we need to re-equip our armor in case we bounce into some rock. Uh, it's very funky uh, with the lighting mod watching this guy run around. Uh, it moves very quickly as you can see. Oh my, uh, are you done? Okay, it's done inspecting us, and it has deemed us uh, worthy or unworthy. We're unsure, uh, but the floor you see starts to take this weird magical effect, which is very strange. It's pretty unique right there, too, and oh, right. All right, and that is the largest uh, distance you can travel. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Vertically in Skyrim is right there. So what do I think this place is? Um, I believe that this place is actually where the Dwemer probably made the uh, part of, uh, I guess what you would call the Brass God. And they move the parts from this location to uh, Morrowind. And that might be also how they were caught by House Dagoth. And their secret was revealed because House Dagoth was involved in merchant. And merchantry with the Dwemer Society, which um, would be something uh, shipping would entail. Uh, this is a little bit annoying here. Uh, I just about had so these chests always have really good loot in them. So I'm really going to try my luck here. Oh, this is so close. They always got to do you dirty. They always got to do you dirt. Oh, don't you do it. Oh, you dirty boy. You dirty boy. Treat this lock like you would treat a woman. You gotta use finesse. Okay. Open these, get these. Uh, some dormer items, but honestly, that's pretty trash. Uh, I, do I have the water breathing spell? I don't think so. Uh, oh, I do. Uh, but for some reason, I can't bring my hands out. My hands are broken. Please help. Help, sir, I need to raise my hands. Okay. Boom, bada bing. Now this is a lot easier. So there's a, there's that chest there. I'm trying to remember if there's another chest. Uh, oh, there's a big old rock on it too. Interesting. Uh, there's a bunch of fallen trees 
that gets triggered when you fall down in this area. Uh, water pressure there from a waterfall. Uh, but I'm not seeing any items. This is like we're going to be getting out of this place. Okay, so now we need to find exit. Because we do not like being down here. Alright, where, where is it? Is it underwater? They wouldn't do me dirty like that. Oh, ignoring that texture. I didn't do that. Hmm. Gotta be some way around the water breathing for a bit. Resistance on over here. Aha! So this is on this side of the room. Uh, very interesting too. Um, there's bones visible on the map, uh, which means the developer specifically put those there, um, which is very strange. Uh, unsure of what they are. You can see there's another really big one over here that's almost bigger than the other ones over here, which are already large. So wondering what that is. Very strange detail the developer decide in the game, which probably means it's intentional. Uh, just because he would have to go out of his way to actually place that. Okay, uh, got what we need. Palmer uh, might pop out. No. Okay. So now we have to go. Ooh, watch out for the earthquakes. This place is not structurally sound. Uh, sadly, it's been lacking in maintenance. Uh, dodge the rocks of doom. Uh, they may not look like they'll kill you, but believe me, they will. Oh, oh you scared me. Oh, and you're a gloom lurker, too. Oh, thank goodness we're not a low level anymore. So now we get the next level of Palmer gear. Uh, Palmer gear actually looks pretty cool. Um, you originally, uh, without the Dawn Guard DLC, I don't believe you could have worn that. So we're just going to continue on here. Had to stop there and see what was going on with my dog. Never trust. Oh, never trust. Teach him valuable lesson. Ooh, that's, that would be a terrifying visage to see before you die. A glowing man with glowing red eyes. A dirty expression. And the will to kill. Alright, so here we are. Uh, you, I don't believe the bones are visible anywhere. Uh, but you can see this texture is very similar to Black Reach also. Uh, with this starry ceiling here. And then you got a massive beacon, uh, which I believe they did call Uganda for aid. Uh, but sadly, uh, what we're going to want to do is we're actually going to want uh, chain lightning. We're up here at the top because we got a whole row that we have to destroy. Oh, you jerk. Oh, no, no, no. That's that is a big no. That's an oh no right there. Uh, we are going to keep our stamina up. Uh, use the, well, I get rid of these ones because they take up space. We are going to want to drain this bad boy's mana real quick. Uh, we actually, you know what? I don't really care about the items. Be gone. Oh. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. Uh, using the most overpowered item throughout the game. Oh, don't get too close to the edge. I just wanted to see what had happened. Uh, but I believe he is a goner. Music has stopped. My anxiety is somewhat calmed. I... I... I don't know what you want to call these little hidey holes or burrows. These lookout posts. I want you to know most of those things are banned in hunting. The foul practice. Like putting a salt block out. You're just, you're not even playing fair. You're just gonna get him to come over and lick the salt, and then you're gonna shoot him. I know how hunting works. Alright. Uh, glass gauntlets. Those are actually worth picking up. 
Uh, bad boy, get a jump out here. No. So you can see there's clearly arches here. So I think this was actually like an irrigation system that we're going through, which is why the walls and other things aren't developed. And there's developed archways so we're just to actually hold the roof up more or less than anything. Now we get to go to Stony Creek Cave. So if you remember where we killed that dragon earlier before I brutally died uh, to the Master Conjurer, we are now down at that cave. And you saw how far up we had to walk. So it's a little bit crazy. Uh, you cannot get up there. Uh, so this is a one-way uh, trick pony. Uh, but we got some bandits we gotta deal with now. See, I waited till the dot turned red and they were aggro because I am a man of peace and prosperity. Do unto others what you must do yourself. Uh, which is survival of fittest and the enemy must be uh, separated and conquered through warfare and other means. Uh, do not question Greg Miss's war expertise knowledge. He's a veteran. Okay, we're going to get up here and over here and there's actually a unique thing in this area I don't know if it's here unless I do the quest uh, but we're not going to find out uh, we're just going to continue to teach these guys a lesson the lesson is no that is the lesson okay oh no no you stay down there okay where's the other guy there another one yeah there he is okay there's actually a bandit leader over here I believe so we are gonna want to make sure our armor is on before we go party rocking uh, I don't like that it's glitchy and not showing that I have spell equipped that makes it a little bit hard to know uh, but I guess it's just like default Skyrim you third person and Look at yourself. Not narcissistically, of course, for uh, important purpose. Oh my goodness, that was a blunder. So, that's it. That's your best. so we're just going to keep him locked here. Uh, he has a mage, so he's going to try and heal. Uh, but luckily, we are the better mage. Uh, yes, there you go. He gives you a treasure map. There's a stone of Baron Zaya here uh, to add to our collection. Uh, there's a book there. Would be a skill book if I already didn't read a book. There's the goblet. The goblet's not useful. Uh, there's some ingredients here. Death bell. Oh, there's one. Oh, come on. Okay, thread the needle. Okay, so we're just gonna, you know, this is fine. Uh, and then there's this bad boy over here. Our reward for getting through this monstrosity, there it is, Finn's Flute, so there's a level uh, skill book, there's a treasure map, there is a Baron's Eye Stone, and there is Finn's Loot, all in one location, and you actually can just get to this area without having to go up uh, by going into that area you're about to see when I come out here. I don't believe there's more Ben, so I am going to run. You can see uh, they do not uh, abide, abide, abide by physics, but then again, I am shooting them with lightning, so I don't think uh, physics matter. Uh, here's a bread. So, interestingly enough, I believe this bread probably actually came all the way down from the top. He probably is was paying this bandit group here like an expedition. Uh, there's a stem in here. Stamina is nice for uh, alchemy. So if you need stamina for your crafting recipe, uh, come here to go fishing. It's pretty easy. There's another skeleton over here. The bandits were just piling them up. There's another salmon. And it's good to go. So this is where we come out. So if you want to think about it, I think you can probably find out somewhere that tells you actually the amount of feet. Or distance you drop but you, you can see when you uh, mod this game your uh, loading screen get a little bit longer 
So now we are at the bottom. It's nighttime. We literally went through almost a day cycle. So this is the cave we came out of. Uh, it's a little bit tricky to see uh, from this angle. Uh, so all the way back up. Uh, you can almost see it here. Yeah, you can see it just a little bit where that yellow dot is. So all the way from Kagrenzel, all the way down here, that's that's got to be like 600 to 1,000 feet just dropped in an instant. I believe in real life, if you would have impacted the water, you would probably just splatter and die from the sudden stop. Uh not of course from the fall so i will thank you guys for watching another episode the legend right